Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. This would normally be Technical Tuesday, but I want to do something a little different this week, and I want to talk about the why behind what we do. What is it that motivates us here at Shadow, and how does that fit into our society and the world around us? Uh, one of the reasons I'm thinking about that and sharing it with you is we just had an absolute atrocity in Allen, Texas. There was a mass shooting there, and this, by the way, is a place where uh, we have many staff members and their families living, where their kids go to school. Uh, so when something like that happens very close to you geographically, you kind of feel it more, you, f you think about the impacts more. And as a gun company, uh, it's also true that when there's a mass shooting, we get vilified by the media and others. Uh, when some maniac goes out with a weapon and kills a bunch of innocent people, it's kind of laid at our feet. Uh, I may not agree with what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. So those who have opinions which differ from mine, they're entitled to those opinions and that's okay. Uh, but from our perspective here at Shadow, we think of ourselves as more a potential solution than a part of the problem. What motivates us is this idea that we are producing firearms which will empower people who are responsible and trained to defend themselves and their fellow human being. And God forbid, circumstances like, like that. Um, I think one thing that everyone can agree on is that the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Our first responders who go running toward the gunfire have proven that time and again. Uh, so ironically, we see ourselves as part of that solution. And look, carrying a gun in society is not for everybody. And for those poor people who were victimized, killed on a Saturday at the mall with their families, I don't fault them for not having a gun, okay? It's the maniac that's the problem there. Um, but for those that decide to carry a, a firearm in society and do it responsibly, uh, it's our sincere hope that you're a resource and an asset and that you can bring quickly to a close one of those horrible situations. Uh, by the way, it is also true that you can be a liability with a firearm, even if you are trained. And I'm not advocating that anybody go running into a gunfight, okay? Uh, the, the principle of, of run, hide, fight in a mass shooting, that, that doctrine I think is generally valid, maybe even if you are armed. But if you're hiding in a broom closet, you're better off with a XR920 than you are with a broom. And that's what motivates us. Um, if you are the kind of person who doesn't take it seriously or won't seek out the training or won't responsibly integrate firearms ownership or even carry into your life, then uh, it's not for you. That's okay. That's okay. Because carrying a firearm in society has a moral imperative, okay? That moral imperative says that you need to be a resource and not a liability. Um, and that's where this idea of training and and a thoughtful, reasonable approach to how you carry is so, so critical. So, uh, that's what motivates us, that we can empower a person to defend themselves and their fellow human being in circumstances that we hope they never encounter. Naturally, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families in Allen, Texas, and uh, I would ask that they be in your thoughts and prayers too.